Hey guys, thank you so, so, so much for clicking on this review. The fact that you're willing to sacrifice a few minutes out of your day to consume my content really does mean the world to me. And today we're going to be reviewing the new Netflix release, The Midnight Sky. So guys, The Midnight Sky, let me just summarize for you quickly. Basically, it's the end of the world. There's been a massive apocalypse and we follow George Clooney's character, Augustine, who is a scientist as he navigates through this new world that he has found himself in. Ultimately, the movie is separated into two distinct stories. We follow George Clooney's character, Augustine, trying to get in contact with the astronauts from the second story. These astronauts have basically been exploring this planet to see if it is sustainable for humans to move there if we need to move on from Earth. But ultimately, these astronauts now are returning from this planet. They're returning to Earth to basically tell the planet, cool, this planet is hospitable, we can live there. And of course, they don't know that the apocalypse has happened. They don't know that this nuclear fallout has taken place. And so George Clooney's character has to find a way to communicate with them. And that is the story of this movie. So I just finished watching this movie and I'm feeling very neutral about it, to be 100% honest. This movie is incredibly, incredibly slow. It's a very slow paced film. In no way is it necessarily bad. I'm not saying this is a bad movie. In fact, it is a very well-made movie. The directing is great, the acting is phenomenal, the camera work is amazing, and the special effects are just mind-blowing. But it is a very, very slow movie. The story progresses incredibly, incredibly slowly. Even when the characters interact with one another, they talk like they're talking like this, and there's massive gaps and there's pauses, and the interactions take a very, very, very long time. And George Clooney, who's supposed to be the main character, he barely says anything. And he interacts with um, this little girl, and she says nothing. <laughs> so the scenes where he's involved, there's just long pauses where not much is happening. And of course, you can, you can make great movies that are slow-paced. Some of the best movies out there are incredibly slow-paced movies that are crafted very, very, very well but you have to be in the right mindsets to consume those types of movies. I will not lie. I really struggled to stay engaged with this film. I was constantly looking at my phone, seeing what the time is. There were two separate occasions where I clicked up to see how much longer was left in the movie because I was really struggling to stay engaged and captivated. And I don't know if that was necessarily a fault on the movie or if I just wasn't in the headspace to consume this. So I'm just going to break down the movie. I'll let you know what I enjoyed, and then I'll get back to what I really just think didn't land. Again, the performances were good. I did mention that, but like everything was incredibly slow. Like the character interactions, that was slow. But the actual performances that the actors gave were good. They were sufficient, and I got sucked into their world when they were performing. The cinematography was also serviceable. It did its job. We were able to see these awesome locations. The scenes in space were particularly fun to watch. The cinematography did a great job there. Special effects, you can see a, a large budget was given to the special effects. It was, this was a very well realized movie in regards to its visuals. When we're on this alien planet, it is just beautiful. When we're in space, it's captivating and you feel weightless. You can feel that these characters aren't restrained by gravity. And when we are with George Clooney in Antarctica, you, you feel the weather effects. You feel this, you feel the cold. You feel the wind. You, so the visual effects was done very, very well for this film. And then we get to the score. The score once again just proves how slow this movie is. It's a very slow score. The music really just, it's, there's, there's no, it's, it's, I'm finding other, I'm trying, I'm really struggling to find other words to describe it, but it's slow. Large chunks of this movie, nothing happens. I started watching this movie with my entire family. And by the time the end of the movie came around, it was just me and my mom and my girlfriend. The rest had just walked away because they honestly got bored. I don't, I'm not saying this is a bad movie. I know I'm sounding incredibly negative about it, but it's very well made, but it is incredibly, incredibly slow. Look, if you've been hyping this film up and you want to watch it, you're going to enjoy it. But if you haven't watched any of the trailers, if you don't know what you're expecting, be prepared to watch something incredibly slow paced and something that you have to keep yourself engaged in. 
it is a well-made film. There are sequences that I really enjoy. There's one beautiful sequence that's really well edited and the suspense is high and there is action in it and it is suspenseful and you can engage yourself in that scene. But until you get to that, there is a massive, very long hour that you've got to sit through. This movie is literally marketed around George Clooney. All of the posters is just his face. He's in the first half of the movie quite a bit. He's the main character of the first half. But by the time you get to the second half of the movie, he's been phased out and he's barely in it because we started to focus on these astronauts a lot more than him. So if you're wanting to watch this movie because you want a ton of George Clooney, I'm sorry to say, but the last half will leave you disappointed. So yeah, guys, that's my incredibly weird review of this movie. Very well made, but very, very slow. But guys, thank you so, so, so much for watching this review. The fact that you're willing to take some time out of your day really does mean the world to me. If you've watched this movie, please comment down below what you thought about it. Because I would love to know what you guys think. This film really just... I don't know how to accurately articulate my feelings about this film. So I'd love to know what you guys think. But guys, thank you so, so, so much. You're awesome. And I hope to see you in another review.